reached all the hearers across the world today for our morning meditation it is entitled two is greater than one the wise man solomon puts a statement as follows in the fourth chapter of ecclesiastes Ecclesiastes 4th chapter and verse Ecclesiastes 4th chapter verse 9 and 10 two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor or if they fall the one will lift up his fellow but woe to him that is alone when he falleth for he hath no another to help him up. The statement which is to be considered very meticulously. The word of God says two is better than one. In the evaluation of matters, in the prayer groups, in the ongoing parleys and conversations two are always better the reason is if one is self-centered the other could convey him and try to change him by the power of the Holy Spirit in today's world there are solitary personalities who make wine arguments and utterances which are detrimental to the society. There are organizations and people who are dwelling upon their self-designed plans and agendas. There are extremist organizations. There are fundamentalists. There are fatalists. There are radicals and the communists. But their agenda is entirely different. So the word of God says, in evaluating the practice, in evaluating the precious truths of the day, two are better than one. In the seventh day Adventist history, we come across with great pioneers like Uriah Smith, Joseph Bates, James White, and Hiram Edson, Kellogg. Many a time they came to some conclusions and when another person or a group of persons gathered together in prayer, they changed their viewpoints. There were topics of controversy. Today also the churches face the controversial issues such as ordination of the women, etc. But for everything, we can come to conclusion through prayer when the distinctive powers of our brain are put together, when Truths are presented as it is, and the data we have to analyze in the light of the Word of God. In Berea, the Christians were commended for their faith and for their evaluation. They were analyzers, they were introspectives. They 
re-evaluated and they discussed at length whether their path is correct or not whether their charitable activities are approved of God and when two minds come together their contribution will be very great so the word of God says if they fall the one will lift up his fellow so in the Christian propagation of the present day message and the everlasting gospel and also in the Cole Porter ministry we employ two people as a team they work together they converse together they design plans through prayer and they work out modus operandi in such a way as to lift up the name of God so through the corporate ministry or the publishing department a great and enormous work is being carried out by the seventh day adventists now they are planning of 3 billion copies of steps to christ to be printed and given out to people my dear friends we are living in a very pivotal time a time of confusion and chaos a time of eroding principles of spirituality the surplus idolatry and the greed avarice and turning away from the word of god and denying the power and the authenticity of jesus we are living in a very frenzied time time of disturbance time of trouble we should mandatorily think that the time is so important so we should not waste the time element when two are gathered the word of god says when two or three are gathered in my name my presence will be available there my dear friends this morning the evaluation and the experimentation of two people together will be an enhancing factor for the propagation and hastening the coming of Jesus Christ. Recently through the media, we have heard about Risa and Murato, Russia and the Philippine journalists who worked out strategies and they are recipients of the Nobel Peace Prize because their write-ups were written to the so-called authorities in, in Tamil Nadu. My dear friends, we are living in a time when more and more dialogues and conversations are needed regarding the precious truths we have to shout aloud and we have to warn the entire world of the coming doom the sunday law the idol worship the greed and the avarice the non healthful way of living practiced by people is there all to be brought to the light when the body is in tune when the body is in tune with the treasure while imparting this precious truths we have to be so much aware and we have to be understandable that the two together 
is always better than one in a world of vanity in a world of deceit debauchery idolatry and the sabbath breaking let us heed to the message of the word of god groups of two should go and attack the forts of chaos the forts of superstition the forts of radicalism and atheism should be tackled and the presence of the world leader of the church should be put as a a venue for discussing and approving the agenda of god let us work together as a team let us publish together the glad tidings of salvation through innumerable health and religious books and uphold in the kingdom of god may god bless you all dr j t tara tulam seventh day adventist mission center mararikul alp 6885523 kerala whatsapp number 9186063774389 ഇവയിലേ ഡി ടാറാട്ടുകുളം ജിമെയിൽ ഡോട്ട് കോം